Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Rebel, and today I am so proud of my girl Bex. She's finally done it, she's finally done it. I mean, it's, it's taken us so long just to own up that it wasn't her that did the picture stuff or did anything really. Okay, she didn't, she didn't stand up the way that I would have loved her to stand up because, no, she didn't. She was very reluctant on telling those two teachers that it wasn't her who committed all of those crimes i was gonna say crimes but it wasn't crimes all of those bad deeds but yo we've got to speak about the, the the big point here the big stuff what did it take to own up she had to get what did, what did i tell you guys in my previous video when it's done is right it's gonna get it's gonna get to a point where she has to get physically harmed in order for her to own up because i mean once you get physically harmed you would presume that by that point it would be much more difficult for the person to own up you know it would take a lot more guts then because now you're getting physically harmed you're going to be more worried and concerned it took bex to physically get harmed to own up i mean let's be real here i don't think bex would have owned up if the teacher didn't come then again the teacher wouldn't have known unless the teacher spotted her in the hallway or someone else told the teacher and i mean because bex would have just ran home again and she would have done the same thing that she's always been doing to her father and stacy and them look right not telling them the truth always saying this and that and just rebelling and acting like a douchebag spoil idiot like let's be real like stop doing that and so for that reason i am very proud of her because she took so long i mean when that scene was happening right when that scene was happening let's let's go through that scene those two girls took her to the toilets and they were abusing her they were ripping up her clothes they were tossing her I mean, okay, let's be real, right, strength-wise, right, they seem so weak, I'm, I'm telling you this right now, I mean, they were struggling just to push her back and forward and stuff like that, you know, it, it's such it's such a joke because, like, ugh, you, 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 you don't understand how I would love to be in a situation like that, oh my days, I would unravel the wrath, that would be so sick, but, you know, when Bex, right, she's very fragile and she's not about that life, you feel me, she's not about that stuff, she's... I don't know what the hell she's exactly about, she's just kind of odd, I mean, she's a wicked musician and everything, but I don't know what the hell she's exactly doing. But in terms of those two girls though, Madison and Tradison or Radison, whatever those girls' names are, I think we, I think the, one of them is Madison and the other one is, what, Tracy or something, or, I don't know her name, but I don't really care about her name. All I can say right now is that I'm not very fond of them too. Those two rats need to relax themselves now because I'm telling you that. No, but I, I think I need to address this one though. Louise, Louise Mitchell, right? She's taking the liberties now, right? How the hell are you just standing outside the toilet, right? When your friend, right, you're supposedly your best friend, right? It's meant to be your friend. If not, then I don't know what the hell you claim as to be. Getting abused inside the toilet, she's getting tossed about. And you're just standing outside there doing nothing. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, I think there's something wrong with you. Like, you clearly don't deserve any friends for that, you know that? Because, I mean, if that was my friend, right, and I was hearing that outside, oh my days. If that was my sister, if that was my friend, if that was someone that was related to me and I liked that person, right, and, and someone was doing that, are you mad? You must be absolutely mad. Like, to think that I'm just going to stand there, are you nuts? Shaquille's not going to benefit in the long run. He's a side man, straight up, but that guy. Um, Louise, we, we saw from part one that she, she literally stood outside the toilet while you was getting murked. While you was getting murked. While you was getting murked. Do you understand? You understand this. You was getting murked. And someone outside, right, didn't even bother contacting any of the staff, any of the teachers. Or nor did she try to attempt on saving you. What does that show? Straight up, all I'm going to say is this, yeah, she's a big coward, yeah. She was moving like Billy Mitchell when Jay's dad was getting murked by those guys. Like, you can't be rolling like that. See, people like Louise, right, these scary cats, right, these are the type of people, right, that are that are so afraid of attempting in a situation. Okay, we can understand that. They want to protect themselves. They're so scared. But the fact is that you are letting someone that you know you're supposedly meant to be her best friend, right, get murked and you're doing nothing. At least if you got murked with her, right, you guys would be classified as friends because you still stood up for her and... But what? You're scared of these two little girls, man. These two little girls are nothing. Are you crazy? These two little girls will get one slap to their forehead easily. Like, when I see this, right, the, the, the rage comes because I'm telling you right now, if this school, right, these two girls, right, are the things that are the people that you're scared of, you're, that you're having a laugh, like... 10, 20 years ago, if you saw the people that they were in schools, right, you, you would understand the real difference, but back then, right, we had madmen with knives, we had 
be had big guys here that will knock you out, six, seven foot guys out there, and you're, you're scared of these little flipping four foot five girls and stuff. Like, come on, man. What are you doing? Louise, I don't know about you guys, but Louise literally took the liberties in that episode, right? Bex, you should eradicate her from your friend list because it's pointless. Madison, Tradison, Radison, whatever their crappy names are. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up because it's always appreciated. The more likes that we get in this video, the more the more that I know that you guys are enjoying it. So let's try to get this video to the minimum of 20 likes for starters. Or if we can get above that, then that'll be wicked and amazing. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're new and subscribe to my channel if you're if you're not really new but you've been checking out my videos but you haven't subscribed yet because you're, you're worried about something well I don't know what you're doing just subscribe to the channel let's not make this a long thing yeah oh uh, yeah right here oh uh, A.O.T.P this drum was waiting for a ride